event. Um, just wanted to sp spend a few minutes talking to you about some of the things that go on behind the, the big closed doors of that building on 200 Bedford Street called First. A lot of you don't realize that we pretty much end up packing about 15 Mayflower uh, trailer vans every year in order to ship out fields everywhere across the United States to Canada. We have separate uh, shipments to Hawaii. Hawaii has one of their own fields. We forward deploy one of our fields to Hawaii. We end up having a uh, field owned by Israel, located in Israel, but we have to send all of the field management equipment, all of the uh, unique individual parts of the game, and also all the game elements to Israel. And in addition to that, believe it or not, we have one complete field co-located down in Memphis, Tennessee, right beside FedEx building. The reason we do that is to make sure that in case any time during the season, if we do have an incident, one of those fields are not able to make it to their destination, we are able to turn that field around within 24 hours and ship it anywhere in the world. So the first staff spent an awful lot of time preparing, uh, packing, and uh, trying to make sure that we end up having a successful FRC season. Another question that came up uh, recently was, well, tell me about district events. What's going on with district events? Um, as you know, or as you should know, we have two areas of the country that have started to migrate to a new concept. And that's Michigan and MAR. MAR stands for the uh, Middle Atlantic Robotics. And MAR is basically made up of three states. The three states are New Jersey, the eastern half of Pennsylvania, and Delaware. Michigan initially had over 100 teams. By combining these parts of these states together, we were able to get close to 100 teams there. And the intent is to have the teams um, compete in local high school or junior college environments. The intent is to try to cut down the costs of the event and try to end up doubling the number of events the teams would be able to participate in. The, the good things about doing that is the teams get two events to go to for basically the same registration fee. The bad thing is that we have a tendency to really stress the volunteers because the volunteers are working twice the number of events. So uh, we're continuing to work and try to make sure that we, we monitor both of those situations as we continue to expand. And uh, that's probably the longer term future of FRC and how we're gonna run events in the future. So just wanted to give you a little bit of background as to what's going on, but I did wanna open it up for questions and try to find out if anybody has anything specific or anything at all they wanna talk about. number of teams in Michigan has increased 46% in the past four years, but the number of spots for the first championship hasn't. Are you considering, considering increasing that number of spots at all in the next com few coming years? Uh, we're going to be looking at the entire method of getting to the uh, championship. As you know, this year we ended up going from 352 teams to 400 teams. We've been having, and what's interesting is in the past, when we had the winning alliance and the three cultural award winners, we traditionally would end up having about a 60 to 60% rate of those teams being able to come to the championship. This year, believe it or not, we had between an 85 and an 88% acceptance rate. So either teams are very interested in coming to the championship or they ended up liking the fact that St. Louis is somewhat in the center part of the country and it's easier to drive here. Or the other part might be that since we had the Will I Am concert last year, more teams thought that we may end up having some live entertainment. So we're not sure why we ended up having the increase in, in attendance, but uh, we certainly did, and that's one of the reasons why we ended up expanding. Um, I don't know if you can answer this or not, but... Um, I'll try. With uh, the game design, do you pick a um, theme like from the news? Because it seemed like the past couple of years you had. With Breakaway, the basketball, <clears throat> Motion. Okay. Um, no, we don't. Uh, it, it may be coincidental that that ended up happening that way, but believe it or not, we end up, the process that we normally use, or at least the ones we've used in the past, is each of the game design members would be given an opportunity to bring to the first meeting basically two concepts or two ideas on how they wanted to potentially end up having this game look for the upcoming season. We would all get together normally around the May time frame. 
uh, would sit down, would compare notes, would make presentations on those, those different concepts. Uh, last year we actually ended up changing it around so that we gave different people um, some of the top concepts and then they went off and did little post-its and new ideas and stuff like that, came back and presented it again. Then we would end up whittling it down to basically two to three concepts. After that, the game design would go away and come back the next month and we would end up having prototypes made and would start actually walking through what we saw as the concept of the game and how we ended up believing that it would probably be played. At that point in time, what we'd end up doing is whittling it down to one game and having a backup alternative. And we'd really start to focus on that one game. What's happening is that, that cycle time is getting shorter and shorter because there's more and more constraints on us. When we're ordering the game pieces, we're having to order the game pieces directly from China. If we're gonna ship it from China, it takes at least, at least a minimum of four weeks. Then you have to get into their manufacturing lead time. And there's cycles that they manufacture, toys, games, and things like that, game balls. And a lot of times, if you end up missing their cycle for Christmas, you end up getting put behind. The other situation that recently has come about is the city of Montreal. As you all know, this year we ended up having our first event there. The Montreal event was done completely in French. The folks in Montreal requested that they be allowed to interpret the game uh, manual and all the rules into French so that the students who would be in Montreal would be able to actually take that uh, manual and be able to understand it. So we've been compressed even further when we end up making the game. But to go back to your original question is no, we don't use the newspaper. Um, it's more of a, a random selection kind of thing based on this is really cool, this is neat, this is interesting. Uh, you know, we have some things that we look at from engineering challenges, we look at things, you know, is the game, we, we divide the game into three parts, basically the beginning, uh, hybrid or tele, or, uh, the autonomous portion, teleoperated, and then the end game. And we kind of look at each of those different sections. Other questions? Does that answer your question? Okay. Um, I don't know if this has been asked already, but do you pattern it sports, non-sports, sports, non-sports, non because it has been for the past couple years. It certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Um, once again, it's random. Um, we don't deliberately end up looking at sports, non-sports. It'd be cool if we did, but uh, no. We do try to change things up. We look at a lot of different things. Um, we even ask, and in the next uh, week or two, you'll probably see a blog posting. If you've got some interesting game ideas, to send it to a specific location, because we're always looking for new and different ideas. Uh, when I've been going out to the regions, uh, one of the things that I do is I usually walk the pits and I ask the kids in the pits, you know, what do you have for an idea around game design? And a lot of times I get, uh, I get interesting concepts. Most of the time I get that H2O game that I'm not gonna mention, but uh, <clears throat> you never know. Next question. Um, how are you, uh, like, like, how is it you're cutting costs for the, uh, the regionals so that teams don't have to pay that much, especially for traveling and other stuff? We're cutting costs where? Oh, sorry. Yeah, for the 